it's Smokey here and today I am happy to bring another review to you all and together I would like to review the Mafex or Mafex respectively the Batman figure this figure did just come in the mail I think I got it from Ami Ami well I did get it from Ami Ami about maybe three weeks ago but there was something that was going on with the figures where they were saying Marvel on the back of the Batman figures. So they sent me a notification and let me know that it was gonna take a little bit longer, but it finally got here. So I'm excited to review it with you all. I remember when I first heard of this movie, I was a little bit skeptical because Robert Patterson was playing Batman. So I wasn't too sure how it was gonna be. But then I did see Twilight probably like a couple years ago and I enjoyed him in it. So I was, you know, a little bit weary, but still, you know, optimistic. And when it came out, I really enjoyed it a lot. You know, it wasn't a perfect movie, but I really did enjoy the aspect of them showing, you know, Batman, which is the greatest detective, you know, there is in Gotham City. And they actually showed like the different aspects of Bruce Wayne and just Batman, you know, being a detective. So to me, that made that movie really good to me. And uh, yeah, the story was overall good too. And that Batmobile, that Batmobile was really awesome. But anyways, let's get back to the packaging. This is the back of the box. I just have it that way because there was a glare. Um, but you can see there's different illustrations, which look really good on the side. We have, you know, the Batman and some more words. And here's the front. And yeah, I'm excited. I haven't opened this figure yet. I know it may look like it, but I think uh, somebody had a little error at Ami Ami. They put the sticker on a little bit high, but it's okay, because it's gonna get open anyways. So let's get this thing open. And yeah, let's get on to the details and stuff. Okay, so we have it open and wait, we have to do my favorite part usually. Here we go. Okay, yep, there we go. <laughs> I even knocked the camera. Yep, that's the fun part. All the pieces flying out. And let's try that again without all the falling pieces. But here we go, we got Batman out and wow, this looks amazing. I feel like videos did not do justice for me. I thought that this part was gonna be more glossier, but when I see it in person, I am stunned. The cape, the face, everything, 112 scale, this looks phenomenal. I'm just hoping that the articulation is as good as this figure, the way it looks. But let's go into details right away because I do not wanna hold anyone up. So let's see. Yeah, look at that. Robert Patterson in 112 scale. To me, this looks really, really good. Like even the silver, I love that they painted all the individual silver pieces, the yellow right there, even on the side of his pants. Behind looks really good. They put a couple of other little spots where his gadgets would be. And not to mention this wire cape, just even down to the details right there that looks just like his cape in the movie. And you can see, here, let me see if I can zoom in. Right there, you can see that there is some silver. There we go. There's some silver on there, like he went through some sort of battle, like battle damage. You can just see his, all the different details on here. Looks really, really good. Cape, even that head sculpt. Just from different angles, I see Robert Patterson. Like 
This is really good. But yeah, those details are nice. This figure is beautiful. And let's see if we can get him to stand up. Okay. And let's look at his details because, I mean, let's look at his accessories because he does have a lot of accessories. So, starting with his alternate head sculpt. Let's see if I can get him to focus. Oops. He does have his alternate head sculpt. Here we go. Is really nice. Looks like he's angry. And then we have the Robert Patterson head sculpt, which certain angles I can see it like that. Maybe not head on, but certain angles like that looks like him. And that and I appreciate them just even you know adding in that alternate head sculpt so yeah that looks pretty good I feel like for what it is it looks good this one where he's riding on his motorcycle that one looks nice it's up to you to decide if you think it looks like him I'm not too sure with the paint on his eyes but it still looks good He also comes with a grappling gun, which let me see if I can zoom that in. And that looks nice. It is a little bit warped in the front, but still looks really good. I like that. He also has an alternate chest piece, as if he removed the front part out of him, the front part of the um, like the battering, I guess you would call it, out of his chest, so you can have that alternate look. And he does come with the battering piece that would come out of his chest. And you can't put them together. They have it where it's like straight, so you can't put it inside of his chest again. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm glad that they still added it in there. Um, he also comes with two alternate gauntlets, which are nice. I'm not really sure what these do compared to the ones that he has. I'm going to have to look, but they do look really good. He does have two of those. He does have another gun that looks like it can be holstered to him. It's already holstered and it looks like you can attach it to him, which is really cool. It does come with two of these. I don't know what these are. I don't know if they connect to like his hand, like those extra gauntlets, but he does have two of them and they're identical. But I'm not quite sure what they do. I'm gonna have to look. And he does come with eight alternate hands, which that is crazy. Um, oh, he has this too. He also has a baton, which looks good. Let me see here, let me put my hand there. Yep, they put the yellow and white. And then, yeah, that looks really good. So he does have like his baton, and here are his alternate hands. He has those, it looks like for like maybe gripping a motorcycle, like handlebars or something. Those one set of hands. He also has those, which could be for grabbing something too. It's wild how, um, minor all these different hands are but still how needed they are you know like they're necessary maybe in the future you know they'll come out with articulated hands and then you can do all this in the future but i'm sure that'd probably be really expensive 
But imagine that though, getting the hands that you can like, these figures in the future with hands that can just do all of this instead of having to put on all the alternate hands. I feel like that would be one part of the future of toys, you know? That'd be like a, a revolutionary um, thing to do. And I've seen them do it before with like has labs and stuff. I think it would be probably really hard to do it with small figures, especially like this. Like the detail, the architect to it would be really insane. So, but that would be cool. And I'm just showing you all his different hands. You can see that they all definitely have a purpose, a different purpose. Second last pair, and these are his last pair of hands. There we go. And for people who want to see maybe one of the alternate head sculpts, we can put one on right now. And I think for this one, we do have to tell. Oh, so the head and neck comes off really easy right there. That's cool. You can see that's what it looks like inside which is nice. They did a really good job on that cape. And yeah, that went in really easily. I think, yep, it's in there. And wow, look at that. I feel like from certain angles, you definitely get that Robert Patterson look. really cool and here he is with his other alternate head sculpt and yeah this looks great just all the different ones that you get for this figure they look really nice I'm glad they incorporated all those different head sculpts in here Okay, before we go into the articulation segment, I just wanted to first start off that saying, um, while changing out his head sculpt um, and putting in the new one, I noticed that the neck did get a lot looser and it's pretty much for every single one now. Um, and I wasn't rough or anything, but uh, I popped that in and yeah, it just seems like his neck is a lot looser. Not to the point where you shake it and it wobbles, but it is to the point where like you can move it a little bit and it's extremely sensitive. And then another type of QC issue, I guess that I just had was um, his leg just randomly decided to come off and uh, I put it back on and it seems like it's fitting on there, uh, but it just does feel a bit loose now. It definitely looks like it's coming apart further from the leg than right here but it's not a big deal i kind of it's a little bit of a bummer the leg and the head getting a little bit loose you know before i even started articulating it but i guess that's just what happens sometimes but i wanted to let you all know that and going into articulation batman can look down this much which is really good he can look up not at all because this part right here his collar the plastic part hinders it he can turn his neck left and right about that much um, he can look side to side about that much his arms do go up to a T which is nice there is a upper arm swivel he does have, oops, yeah, wrists, pegs are very, they come out kind of easily. Um, he does have double jointed elbows, which are nice. So it's always a plus. Um, just be careful. It's a little bit tight on the elbow joints. Um, his chest does move 
left and right about that much. You can actually probably take it around more. He does bend in about that far. Uh, he can go back pretty much about that much, but it does start to cause some opening right there. He does have a ball peg inside of the lower half of his abdomen and it can turn left and right, but be careful, it is tight. He does have a upper thigh swivel, which is good. And he does have double jointed knees. Those are nice, the double jointed knees. And let's see, he has really good ankle rocker, which is nice, the ankle rocker is really good and his wrist pegs, I didn't get to do that. They do move too, but they're kind of tight, so be careful. You can get them in though. See, I got that one in. You just have to be very careful. And his cape is a wired cape, so you can get him in some really cool dynamic poses, which I love. I'm glad that they put the wired cape in, and they did a really good, like a really good job on the cape in the front, like how it looks, it's really nice. And yeah, it seems like he, no boot um, turn, like he can't twist at the boot. But yeah, overall, this figure's nice. Like his legs do go up all the way. They kind of can come out, but they look a little weird. And they, can, they can't really go back because of this part, so yeah. But overall, the articulation in this figure is really, really nice. I have to say that this figure still, besides the few um, QC issues I have, it's still overall a really, really nice figure. And for size comparison, we have Batman next to Mezco Robin. You can see they both look really good next to each other. If you haven't seen this Mezco Robin yet, definitely check it out. I did a review on it too, or check out someone else's on YouTube. That figure is a really cool figure. Definitely one of Mezco's better figures, especially um, when it comes to articulation. We also have him next to another Mezco, Mr. Freeze, because these are just the ones that I have out too. And I still have to do the review for this Mr. Freeze, so definitely check that one out. And they both look good. Mr. Freeze is a little bit taller, so that works out. And then we have, let's see. Here he is next to a SH Figure Arts Spider-Man. And wow, you can see the scale. Like you could probably have them both together in um, a display, but I really, really like the way Mafex or Mafex, um, their scale is, it's really nice. SH Figure Arts is really good too. It's definitely a little bit smaller than I would like, um, especially with like Dragon Ball Z characters, but I'm still happy for this line nonetheless, but yeah. That's the size comparison of them and they all look good. And for my final verdict, this figure is amazing. From the articulation to the details, from the cape to the mask to, you know, just the paint. Overall, it's a great figure. The only two problems that I do have is that the head or the neck joint, when I popped it out to switch it to a different head sculpt, the neck did get looser and the leg did get a little bit looser as well before I started articulating it. The best part about both of those things is they're not falling off and they're not loose to the point where if I like even shake the figure a little, it starts to wobble. So it's not really a big deal. Um, I think that it should be okay in the future but I mean, just look at this figure. Overall, it is beautiful. Like the wire cape, the detail, like this guy just looks great. And I just got him in like a little kneel in pose. But yeah, this figure is great. I think it's definitely a buy. Um, if you're unsure, it's definitely the one. I didn't get the SH Figure Arts one, um, but I'm glad I got this one because it is amazing in every way. 
So thank you everybody so much. I really appreciate you all watching my video, sticking through it. I hope you all, you know, got informed with the right information and hopefully this video helps you to decide if you wanna buy it. So thank you all so much and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.